Chapter 2. Rituals of Highly Successful Individuals In this video, we'll talk about the rituals of highly successful individuals and how it will help you get ahead of the regular folks in life. Now, let's take a look at the morning, evening, and business rituals of some highly successful individuals. Number 1. Mark Zuckerberg, Co-Founder and CEO of Facebook I'm wondering, have you noticed that the man who has his name enlisted on almost all the billionaire lists that you can grace your eyes on seems to only have gray t-shirts? <laughs> These gray t-shirts are not a uniform for his company. The wearing of only gray t-shirts by Mark Zuckerberg is a deliberate act. It's his way of saving time in the mornings. Even after he is sometimes up all night having a discussion with an employee, you could still find Mark Zuckerberg up when the clock strikes 6 in the morning. Without having to worry what clothing to wear for the day, Mark Zuckerberg grabs his outfit, which is usually his gray t-shirt, and then he's off to work at his office early in the morning. Number 2. Padmasri Warrior, CEO Next EV, U.S. A true warrior of time and rising early in the mornings to complete most of her tasks is Padmasri Warrior. While the night shadows cover the land and with the twinkling of the stars, which probably reminds her that she's among the most successful women, at 4.30 in the morning, Padmasri Warrior is up and working. Padmasri Warrior starts the day by going through her emails for approximately an hour. Then she ensures she is kept informed about current affairs by reading the newspaper. After her reading of the papers, then it is time to ensure she remains fit and healthy so she exercises. After her daily morning rituals, she's in her office by 8.30 in the morning, ready to take on the challenges of a new workday. Tim Cook, CEO, Apple Tim Cook not only enjoys his race of being up before the sun, but he is very proud of the fact that he is the first one to be at his company in the mornings and the last one to leave during the evenings. You can check for an email from Tim Cook as early as 3.45 in the morning because that's when he gets up and has become known for sending company emails at that time in the mornings. Tim Cook is one who ensures that he maintains his health. Therefore, you can find him in the gym by 5 in the morning. Jack Dorsey, co-founder, Twitter. Tweet, tweet might be some of the twittering that Jack Dorsey hears at 5.30 in the morning when he is taking his six-mile jog. Jack Dorsey also takes some time to meditate before he leaves for his run in the mornings. Jack Ma, founder, Alibaba Group. As precious and swift as the wind is the commodity time. We cannot preserve time, and once passed, we can either give thanks that we have used our time productively or live with the regrets of what we never used our time to accomplish. Knowing how precious time and his family are, Jack Ma is up by 7 in the morning at the latest. Jack Ma uses half an hour to complete some task, and then he ensures he spends some quality time with his family. Karen Golden, founder and CEO, Hintwater it's time to take a hint. Most highly successful individuals are hitting the work button before the day is dawn. And Karen Golden is among those who are doing so. Karen Golden's day begins at 5.30 in the morning. She peruses through her work calendar, ensuring that she has no exigent meetings, and then she responds to emails. By 7.15, Kara Golden starts making her business calls, but not before she saturates her taste buds with a double latte. And she goes hiking with her husband. David Cush, CEO, Virgin America. Crunch time is at 4.15 in the morning for David Cush. His fingers get busy to dial his associates' numbers who are on the East Coast, but not before he took some time to send emails. Next, David Cush tunes his ears to Dallas Sports Radio while his eyes are kept busy reading the newspaper. Then he's off to the gym to ensure he keeps himself fit. Dan Lee, Director, Next Desk It's time for a standing ovation because Dan Lee is up by the clock strike of 3.30 in the morning. Dan Lee ensures that he is completely hydrated by drinking two liters of water. Then he also consumes two cups of coffee and smooths things off with a smoothie. After Dan Lee hydrates his body, the next 90 minutes he shares with his dog and reading. 
he reads for one hour and spends half an hour with his dog. Clearing his pores through perspiration, you can find Dan Lee in the gym from 5.15 to 6.15 in the morning. When the clock ticks its way to 7.15 in the morning, Dan Lee is already in his office, prepared to tackle the challenges of a new workday. Sally Krawcheck, co-founder, CEO, Elevest. It is the romancing of the mind with the lights dimmed or sometimes she seeks warmth from the fireplace, along with a hot cup of coffee and Sally Krawcheck is ready to start her day at four in the morning. While the lights might be dimmed in her home at four in the morning, Sally Krawcheck is shining bright with ideas because that is when her creative flair comes to light best. Indra Nui, CEO, PepsiCo. Popping as early as four in the morning is Indra Nui. Her first task is ensuring that her plans are organized for the new day. Indra Nui is usually buzzing in her office by seven in the morning. Richard Branson, founder and chairman, Virgin Group. He is certainly no virgin when it comes to rising early. Not even the comfort of his private island can prevent him from pulling his curtains at 5.45 in the mornings to watch the rising of the sun. With a fantastic view of the rising sun, which comes with the opportunity to enjoy his fortune for another day, Richard Branson maintains his health by exercising and having a healthy breakfast. Then he's off to work to ensure that he keeps making his billions. <laughs>